Singapore Life Church. Uh, we're in the building opposite the church and I've got an elevated point, which is great, so I don't have to do so much front rise and, or fall. But of course, it's a different uh, feel altogether. Um, so I'm just going to quickly set up, I've leveled the tripod head and uh, I've placed it as close as possible to the edge so that whatever rise and fall isn't going to be affected. I'm going to see whether I can get a composition at the top of the building as well as the lowest part of the building. Quickly going to set this up. I've always got my trusty t-shirt, dark cloth. Spectacles go back on top. Unfortunately, even with the 75, I'm not getting the bottom of the church. I only get the top up to maybe where the walkway is. Just going to quickly focus. This is a 10 times loop. And today I'm shooting Kodak T-Max 100. Let's just quickly get some exposures before the security guard comes and drives me away. I'm at one quarter at f11, or rather at one quarter f16, but I'm going to give it about a couple more exp more stops. So maybe a one second exposure. I'm going to lock it, bring my f16, and just cock it. And as you know, I always say give it a test shot. That works. So first shot, here we go. And with the bird running through, that's very nice. The rain has just stopped, which is great. Um, I just came from upstairs. And I'm now at the sidewalk opposite Singapore Life Church. This is La Salle School of the Arts. And I've got just a bit of a vista between the two trees along the road. And I can probably catch the peak of the church design. Uh, it's about, well, 6.45. The lights haven't come, off, come on in the church yet. I'm going to try to shoot one with just a soft glow. Uh, it's just stopped raining, so the sky is overcast. I think I get a soft kind of light. Uh, just washing the block, washing the building. I'm um, just going to shoot one there and then maybe wait another half an hour and see whether the lights in the church come on and see whether we can get a bit of a, a night scene. It's still drizzling a little bit. I'm getting a bit of uh, drizzles coming down. I'm just going to set up my camera, maybe keep my lens cap on and when I'm ready to shoot, let me just uh, remove it just nice, just shoot it off and then get back. Let's see how it, how it goes, alright? Let's set it up. So I've leveled my, my tripod head. Just gonna put my camera on. It's still raining. And as we top, damn it. It's starting to get heavy. So I guess not guys, next time. So it started to rain. And uh, no luck, you couldn't be on the outside. I'm now um, in the walkway, it's a public walkway of La Salle School of the Arts. And we're in one of these windows of that design feature of that wall. So that wall is actually all black, it's quite deep, it's about 450, 500mm. And they've got these windows cut out. It's almost like a, a rock face with holes in it. And this, one, this is one of the holes uh, at the ground floor. So here I am, I think I might I might be able to get a shot if I can get my um, tripod 
as close as possible to the edge. I might be able to clear the, the edge. And in so doing, let's just see if we can get a shot. So obviously you can see uh, the tripod's very high. It's not the most convenient to work with. But I guess we gotta do what we need to do, right? Because when we get a shot in this weather. And as you can imagine, as you can imagine it's freaking dark. You know, I just might get enough here to almost get the building in. Got a lot of, I have quite, quite a bit of sunrise, but I can tell I haven't hit I don't quite hit. The extremities of it yet. So just to put my mask on. So don't get any problems. Just focus. Quickly get some exposures. I I'm working pretty fast here. I'm never like being in these spaces because um get these overzealous guards and you can't tell you, you can't shoot here, you can't do this, you can't do that. So the exposure is... We'll look at 2 seconds at f16. I might give it 4 seconds. I always give it an extra stop. I'm going to shoot one before the lights come on and I'm going to wait a while and see whether the lights come on. Might be able to get a nice shot, huh? So the challenge now is seeing the aperture ring. You know I always recommend you guys to mount, to mount the lens so that the aperture is on two sides rather than top and bottom. And this is a perfect example where the camera is really high I'm not able to actually see it but because it's on the sides I can actually see what the aperture I'm setting uh, it makes it a lot easier so let's just cop the shutter we'll close cop test shot okay that was on about that was on one second sorry let me set it to about try that again alright so I've got it set on about Let's just uh, starting to rain again. So I'm just going to give it four seconds. Let's try that. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, and a bit for the velocity. That's about five. I think that will do. That will do pretty nicely in this light. flip it around quickly. I'm uh, just gonna wait here for a while. I understand the church turns on their lights uh, every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's already seven o'clock. I believe the lights are gonna come on. Now we do night photography in Singapore because Singapore is so well lit by street lamps. The challenge is if you can get your building lights to come on before the street lamps come on because you know when they come when the street lamps come on they basically create this horrible flare in your image. Um, so I'm just hoping maybe the church turns on their lights a little sooner. And as soon as they turn it on, we're going to make an exposure. And we'll see whether we can catch that before the street lamps come on. So I'm really surprised it's 7.10. And for some reason, the street lights haven't come on. The building light hasn't come on either. So I'm stranded here waiting. It's almost like a waiting game. 
single comes first. Uh, depending which one, you can either destroy your shot or make it really beautiful. Oh well. That's what photographers do, right? We wait around a lot, looking for the right light, looking for the right moment. Even in large format photography and even in architectural large format photography, there is, there is an, an essence of waiting. There is an essence of finding the right time, the right light. Very much so if you were to be shooting like us on a street where you're looking for the moment, or the decisive moment in Cartier-Bresson's words. But in large format, I, I feel the same way about it. It's about finding the right time. Just to show off the building. And damn it, the street light, the street light came on. And it's damn bright. Looks like they changed them to LED lights. So the good thing is that it doesn't give this orange glow. But it's very bright. It, the street lamps of all used to shine downwards. Got this feeling that the street lamp here seems to almost be shining in my face. Oh, damn it. In hot, humid Singapore, when it gets a bit cooler, wearing a mask can be quite torturous. Because every breath you take, your glasses fog up. I almost feel like singing the song. Every breath you take, every move you make. Okay, I won't bore you guys. All right, building lights, come on. Okay, so I've just checked with the church and sorry guys, no lights tonight. So we got a couple of shots in the day. Uh, we got one close to twilight and uh, we're just going to stop there. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it and if you want to see more architectural photography in Singapore, please like and subscribe. Thank you.